Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome into this day five of 30 days of Ho'oponopono challenge. We are going to be chatting today about our relationship with the higher power. Whatever higher power we um, subscribe to, believe in, uh, go to when times get rough, this is the higher power that I'm referring to. So if you don't know what Ho'oponopono is, it's a Hawaiian healing tradition that is all about um, forgiveness. And it's all about seeing the world as a reflection of what's going on in our inner worlds. So today's topic is about the higher self. So I'm going to chat with you about my relationship with the, my higher self or my higher power and then just share with you what comes up when I apply Ho'oponopono to this subject. And then I'm going to be coming on with a different video, which is going to be to help you through a process of applying Ho'oponopono to this topic. So I have other videos on other subjects. Please feel free to check them all out. Um, however this supports you, please let it support you. If you just want to do your own practice of Ho'oponopono for the 30 days of November, you're welcome to do that too. It's never too late to start. And I just appreciate you for being on this journey with me. So my relationship with my higher power, this is something that I have worked on a lot in my life. It's something that I've questioned. I've been questioning it since I lost my grandpa when I was five and um, really didn't understand the world and was trying to, you know, come to terms with death. And what does that mean? And, and where do we go? And why does it happen? And um, how, do we, how do we process and, and all of this stuff? So I've really, from a young age, been aware of my relationship with a higher power source, the universe, as I like to call it. Um, and there are times in my life where I've applied Ho'oponopono to this relationship specifically because I felt it was broken, specifically because I had what's called a negative charge. In Ho'oponopono, we talk about the negative charge we have towards things. And this negative charge that we have towards things is, um, it feels restrictive, it feels heavy, it feels, um, like a block, it feels like a tightness or a toughness inside of us. And I had this negative charge with my relationship with my higher self or the higher power because I didn't feel like I was being supported. I didn't feel like life was supporting me. I, I didn't feel like my best interests were being served in the situations that I was in. And, you know, I, I kind of blamed the universe, the higher power, all that is, whatever. I was calling it, and I call it different things. Um, for me, it's not one name, um, many names, and for me, it's, you know, it's, it's more of this undefinable thing than it is a defined thing. But I was mad at it, even though I can't define it. I was upset with it, and I, you know, held a grudge against it. I held this negative charge with my higher power. And so this is something that I've been working on cleaning and, you know, it's restating that I love this higher power in my life, that I am sorry for judging, for questioning, for um, sending negative energy to um, this energy, this being, this whatever we want to call it, right? And then there's also this forgiveness, right? You know, like, please forgive me. Um, forgive me for not believing in your power. Forgive me for not trusting in the unfolding. Forgive me for um, not being able to understand and feeling abandoned, right? And thank you. Thank you for giving me this life. Thank you for allowing me to prosper. Thank, thank you for, you know, taking me through these difficulties so that I can truly um, do what I came here to do and live the life that I want to live and, uh, you know, explore the joys and the abundance and the beauty and the gifts that the um, higher power has bestowed upon me in this life. So my relationship with this higher power has gotten very, very strong since I've been starting this practice of Ho'oponopono. It's something that strengthens every time I do these 30 days of Ho'oponopono because it's always inevitably ends up being a subject, um, especially when life has disappointed us, especially when we've suffered heartache after heartache after hardship after hardship, and there just seems to be no higher power. And if there is, it doesn't care about us. Um, you know, I understand that that's a, that's a place that a lot of people are in. 
And this is really something in my life that I've worked on the relationship with. I can now say, after applying Ho'oponopono to this subject, that I do have trust in the universe. I do have a deep love for source, a deep gratitude to all that is for all that I get to experience. And um, it doesn't hurt to offer up these phrases again and again and again to clear any maybe not less unconscious, less known to my own awareness of any grudges that I'm holding, negative charges that I'm holding to against this higher power, against this source, against this um, energy that connects us all and, um, you know, unites us all. Because for me, ultimately, I do believe it is a loving source. I do believe it exists. I think scientifically, um, alternative science has proven that it does exist um, and it makes sense and solves a lot of the problems that physics hasn't been able to solve yet. So I do believe in this energy and I do believe that the vibration is one of love and one of abundance and one of joy and so that any negative charge that I hold against that I'm holding against myself and um, is a reflection of reality that isn't true. And so this is an opportunity for me to once again release this judgment, this um, negative vibes that I may have with my higher power. So that's the chat for today. It's short and sweet. Uh, again, if you want to share your journey, post, or have any questions that you want to share, please feel free to engage with me. This is why I'm offering this at for me, a personal practice, it's important just that I'm sitting down and doing this and committing to it. I get much healing from that, but I also want to support you in your journey and offer up um, my own perspectives to help you get clarity on yours. So if you'll join me over in the ch um, practice video, we're going to do a meditation where we offer up Ho'oponopono to our higher power. And as always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you.